Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series looking at the developments in the world of fintechs. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Christian Faith, who is CEO and co-founder of Lend Invest, an online marketplace for property lending and investing. Christian, thanks so much for joining us thanks today. Thanks for having me, Joy. So can you tell me how Lend Invest makes mortgages easier and better? Yeah, sure. So the average mortgage in the UK takes three months um, and it's an offline process pretty much for every lender. Um, so it's a particularly poor consumer experience. Um, at Lend Invest, the process is online. Um, so it's a much more streamlined, easier and accessible process for borrowers. Um, and on average, we lend already within 14 days. Um, so we're much quicker, uh, we're online, and we're hopeful of sort of continuing to build our technology and our processes and get that down to a couple of days. Okay, and uh, recently in November you entered the buy-to-let market. What were the reasons behind that? So I think us moving into the buy-to-let market was a natural evolution for our business. Uh, so we are pretty dominant in short-term mortgages, which is where we started uh, back in 2008 actually. Um, and we have about a 10 to 15% market share of short-term mortgages. Um, in recent years, we've moved into development finance to expand our product range. Um, and buy-to-let was kind of the natural next market for us to go into. Uh, and what we've created really is a product suite that tailors um, specifically to the property entrepreneur. So that property entrepreneur, they want bridging finance to move quickly, um, development finance to develop their product, um, and then more often than not want to hold on to their property and build a portfolio. So buy to let was the natural product for us to, to next move into. Okay, and I know you also have recently uh, you know, created a partnership with City. Um, sort of what were the reasoning behind that? Um, and then also, what were the challenges to working with a big incumbent bank? Yeah, sure. So yeah, we're very excited to sort of uh, formalize our relationship with City uh, sort of late last year. And really they allow us to move into the buy to let market. So the whole sort of product um, of Lend Invest or the marketplace proposition is to continually try and evolve um, and broaden our um, investor base. So we have investors from many parts of the world uh, for, through different channels from sophisticated and high net worth investors that go online and pick the loans that they want to invest in. Um, we have a retail bond uh, where retail investors can invest. Uh, but we also have an ever increasing sort of um, depth of institutional investors that are buying the loans effectively that we originate. So um, the partnership with City is really part of that widening of institutional base that we have uh, and gives us cheap enough funding to get into the buy to let market which which like I say is a natural product evolution for, for our customers. Okay, were there any challenges though to working the, with them do you think? Um, the challenges I think the, the, the biggest challenge for us uh, over time has been just to build a really good track record. Um, so I think institutions like City Bank are, are very experienced mortgage lenders so I think they they know what to look for and they know uh, how loans should be written and they sort of know what a good loan book looks like so I think you know they they look very closely at what you do they look at our processes they look at our technology and really dig underneath the hood in terms of what we're doing um, but ultimately <clears throat> I think it's the, the sort of validation of what we're doing in terms of the credit quality that we're writing to have an institution like City come on board. Um, challenges, I think they're, they're just the challenges you would expect mm. working with a big bank. Obviously, we're, we're a small, nimble outfit and sort of pride ourselves on not being a bank. Um, but increasingly, you know, we need to work with banks to get cheaper capital and to sort of evolve our product mix. Okay, and you hit the one billion under uh, assets under management uh, barrier, you've broken through that. You yes. know, what has been the secret to your success? The secret to our success, well, I think the reality is we haven't been an overnight success. So like I say, we set up in 2008. Um, on reflection, it didn't seem like the best time to be sort of setting up a mortgage lending business. Um, but we stuck at it um, and we continued to evolve our business. So. Um, that was everything from sort of bringing on technology to sort of working with new investors and just sort of continuing to build that track record. So I don't think there was any sort of magic sort of secret to our success. It was really just keep at it and then sort of build a real business and, and, and the rest follows. Okay. And so what's next for Lend Invest? So without giving away our, our trade secrets, I mean, for us, we believe we've created and we are continuing to build um, technology which provides a really good experience for borrowers. Um, so uh, 
the, the, the sort of immediate goal for us is to show that we can become a really substantial buy to let lender. Uh, and the initial figures we're seeing from the launch of that product are really encouraging. Then ultimately, we want to get into the whole of mortgage market. So, you know, to lend to consumers in the owner-occupied space. So the fact that it takes three, three months for people to get a mortgage and it's entirely offline is something we want to change and we want to change it for everyone. Uh, so we want to be lending to people to buy their own homes as well. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time, Christian. Thank you.